it's an amazing time because definitely uh, we see the climate change impact nowadays on the results, but nevertheless, the heavy change in pricing from reinsurer brought them, let's say, two years for the very large one, the worldwide player, of uh, acceptable results. The big question is now is that a lot of countries in EMEA are wondering, make them or not compulsory, not cat cover. And uh, if we remember, France has been one of the first on that path, and they put in place a very particular scheme with the protection uh, of uh, state-owned companies, CCR, which is guaranteeing insurer to be able to buy at a certain price the cover. So, um, but uh, as I was discussing also, uh, and we have been looking at that also in Italy, the trick uh, regards also the fact of not having a compulsory NATCAT insurance, but a semi-compulsory. What do we mean by semi-compulsory? In the case you are buying the Flexa cover, you are obliged to have the NATCAT. So why is it important? Because in many constitutions around the EMEA zone, you have the right to alienate your own good. So let's say if I'm buying a house and I decide tomorrow I want to burn it, I'm in a position to be able to burn it and no one will reimburse me. So uh, this is one of the tricks that uh, France has been using to put in place that scheme. So the big question, uh, and you heard it like me, there's a lot of capacity which is arriving and you can see that in the ILS market. The second real question is uh, at what price will it be sold? And that yet I haven't been hearing. So it's a good news that there is capacity. As insurer, it will be a better news if it's going to be a little bit cheaper.